Hey, I'm Red, and today we're gonna go over the simple music theory behind Gunna's Private Island. And how you can use it to make your own Gunna type melodies. I don't wanna waste your time, so let's get into it. This is the tip I'll be showing you now. If you already know this, skip ahead. Firstly, this song was made in the key of D major, which means that we have the following chords to play with from 1 to 7. Now, usually trap beats use the natural minor scale, but I believe in this case they chose the major scale because they plan to move by thirds on it. Let me explain. Gunna's Private Island uses a classic 1 3 guitar progression as its bass. The 1-3 guitar progression is very common in emotional beats because moving by third tends to make a progression sound sad, especially in slow BPMs. You may have already heard this progression in songs from Lil TJ or Rod Wave. The 1-3 means that it starts with a major 1 chord and then moves up to a minor 3 chord, and in this case Wichi then adds another 1 chord to keep the thirds coming. This is the tip I'll be sharing you now, if you already know this, skip ahead. Now, this is not the finished progression. You know that when it comes to guitar melodies, we always gotta mess with the triads a little bit, to make it sound realistic. And in this case, what Private Island does is called power chord. This means that the guitarist is only playing the root and fifth of the chord, leaving behind the third, in this case in more than one octave. This helps this melody made in a major scale sound more emotional, because without a third, it is hard to tell if chords are major or minor. And then they added more octaves to help make the progression sound fuller. This is the tip I'll be showing you now, if you already know this, skip ahead. Okay, so like I said, the drop of third is often used to make progressions emotional. Actually, in music theory, the continuous drop of thirds in a scale is referred to as the saddest chord progression there is. So we definitely want to use that here too. So first choose a scale, in this case I'm using the D minor. Now add some sort of 1-3 progression, in this case I'm going to invert the third, so instead of going up a third, as you can see here, I'm gonna go down a third, making this a 1-6 progression, which as you may know is my favorite sad chord progression. And now to make this a little more interesting, I'm going to add a 7th in the middle to make a nice descending progression, which as you already know is also an easy way to get an emotional sounding melody. Now that we have our chords, let's play with the octaves. I'm going to move the third up one octave and double the root note one octave lower, like this. This will make your chord progression sound much fuller. And now, like Private Island did, I'm going to add a few extra notes to make this less repetitive. For this, I'm going to apply one of our three melody making tips, and that is chordal notes on downbeats. This means that the top melody uses the same notes as the chords on the important places, which are the beats 1 and 3. This is a bar, and this is a beat. The 1 and 3 are strong beats, which is why it might sound weird if you choose notes outside of your chords on them. So if you want to use notes outside your chords, or non-chordal notes, you usually would do that on the 2 and 4. So this and this are chordal notes since they are placed on important beats and this and this are non-chordal notes since they are placed on upbeats. This time I didn't apply the rest of our melody rules because this melody is so short and simple we don't need that. Now that we have an emotional sounding progression, the next thing we need are some vocals. So I pulled up some samples I had. <laughs> And to make them fit better with the piano, I cut the high end and added some reverb. Now, since this is a sad piano beat, we need some bass, some risers, and lastly some drums, and the beat is about done. If you want to use this melody loop, there's a free download link in the description with the stems. Use it however you want, just credit me if you end up using it. If you want to see more music theory videos, there's a bunch already on my channel and more coming every week. Let me know which song I should do next, and with that said, here's the final beat. See ya. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't like the first vocal samples I pulled up, I made a second progression, so that's gonna play right after this first beat, and you'll be able to download both of them through the link in the description. So yeah, that's it. See ya.